All right, guys, today is a, uh, a lesson, so to speak. So I've been having this rig. It's constant. Look at this all day. It was like on, off, on, off, on, off. I finally get in here. I look. This card keeps dropping off, and it's only showing five of my cards, not six. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? I tried some different overclock things, and I'm like, wait a second. I smell something. So we're going over here, and it's time to actually look at the rigs. Let me turn my, see if I can't turn a flashlight on. There we go. So this is the card that's dropping off. As you see, the fans are not spinning. I'm like, what the heck's going on? I restarted it a couple times, and then I put my nose to the test. I was like, what, what, am, I, what am I missing here? Uh, I'm smelling something burning. So then what I like to do is start to check all the connections. Connections are your weak point on everything. And then I get down here. Look at that. That is a bad connection. And it's right at the connector. Now, is that the splitter to blame or is that the, uh, the lead coming off of the server power supply? Nobody knows, but your connections are always your weak point. Now, this shouldn't have technically been over power. I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn the power off to this, so that way we don't hurt anything else. Wait, hold on. Turn this power off right here. So, which one is the blame? I'm not sure, but um, it looks like it got hot on both sides of this and uh, grounded out. Now, hopefully it didn't do any damage to the actual graphics cards. Now. Some people were thinking maybe the fact that uh, uh, these splitters were the issue, and these are not the, uh, or are these? Hold on. One, two, three. Wait a second. What's going on here? So it's, oh, okay. This is a triple splitter. This is a parallel minor splitter. So it's running the, uh, the riser for this 3060 Ti, and then the top of this 3060 Ti, and then it's running the top of this other 3060 Ti. But the, so it's one, it's one, two, three. Um, and then the, this other 3060 Ti is getting power off of its own lead going from the riser. Um, realistically, this card was pulling about 130 watts, and this card was pulling about 130 watts. They're both 3060 Ti's. So the power load on this one on the top was probably about we'll say worst case scenario it was pulling 260 watts these cables are supposed to be max 300 watts um yeah i was probably pushing it just a little too hard for a triple splitter and that is that's my fault i can't blame them um especially if, if overclocks might have reset and these cards ran at full power that and i was actually just messing with this rig the other day trying to mine some raven coin that might have been when it uh, started to fail, and it didn't fully fail till today. So, um, luckily, I caught this. This is one of those things I don't. I don't want to hide this kind of stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, bad stuff happens. And I'd, I'd rather you guys see what I go through, and you can kind of maybe apply that to yourselves. So, whenever you have something that's not running right and it doesn't seem to be software, go back, take a look at all your connections, make sure everything's good. And then if you can find anything that is charred, burnt, you got to replace it. You got to replace it right away. Don't run it because, I mean, this was technically still kind of running. I could restart it and it would run for a little bit. Don't run anything that's been compromised like that. So I'm going to unplug this stuff, and I'm not going to use a triple splitter in this configuration anymore. Um, it's not safe um, because if my overclocks kick off, it's going to pull too much power and we'll spike over that 300-watt limit. So... I probably run uh, two different leads, one going to here and then um, one going to here, and I might I'll just run a dual splitter into there because um, that that should be rated for enough. Now, with that being said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have a good night, and um, yeah, that's uh that's just how it goes sometimes. Not fun, definitely not fun at all. But uh, this is the the unglamorous side of mining. And a lot of people will be like, oh my god, your setup's so... A, a lot of people will blame problems on like the fact that it's not wire managed and stuff. But I'm going to be honest, um, wire management does definitely help identify where problems happen. But it's not going to stop them. 
the key is making sure to not overload your cables. Um, and just because it's fine for running Ethereum on an underclocked card, it doesn't mean it's fine for running other algorithms. So, yeah. Um, let me learn the hard way for you guys. So, uh, nobody needs to catch their house or garage or wherever they're mining on fire. Um, that's just, yeah. We, I want to keep everybody safe. Everybody needs to stay safe. Um, but I'm going to get off here and fix this. I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys. I love these these six time splitters. I can't wait till I get my next one in. Uh, comment down below if you were if you guys were uh, bought any of these and if you got them in yet. Uh, I'm curious to see how many people are running them. So, anyway, peace.